Welcome to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's episode of Let's Discover, we're going to be deep diving into the world of Tigers from 52 Toys. Now, I wasn't able to get every single Tiger series that 52 Toy has put out, but I'll put them up on the screen so you can have a look at the different series that aren't included. Now, I'm not 100% sure if these are all considered the same character or the same line of series. They are all tigers, but you will notice the boxes do look quite different and also quite similar all at the same time. So on the left here, I believe this is actually the first series that ever came out. And we don't have the English name showing right now, but I will put it up on the screen. And I believe this one is called Peng Hu, which is a fat tiger. And this is the only box I have of this series, so this is going to be my first time unboxing it. And for this series, we have eight designs and one secret edition, and we have some really good options for today's video. I think I'm okay with pretty much any of these. And for our second series and our third series that I have here, we have Tiger Can Be Anything Series 1 and Series 2. The first series came out last year, and the second series just came out. So this right here is our most recent Tiger series. These two series are definitely a lot more humorous than the other ones. So if you like that more ridiculous nature, Tiger Can Be Anything is probably more up your alley. And for this series, we have a six option and one secret edition. I have gotten two of these already opened previously. So my two favorites I already have, but I'm hoping for today's video we get the llama one. And my partner really likes the one that's in the seashell. I think that one is also really cute. So this is a tiger in the shape of other animals, which is pretty ridiculous. This is actually the only box I have for series two. So I'm really interested to see who we get in today's video. And for series two, we have the same six characters and one secret edition. For this series, I'm really hoping for the rabbit, the sea otter is really cute, and my partner really thinks the koala is funny. I think besides the rabbit, the black bear is probably my second favorite. And for our fourth box, we have Peng Hu again, so Fat Tiger and Baby. And I did have a lot of boxes for this series, so you might have already seen me unbox some of them on my channel. So I've unboxed a lot of these. They're really cute. I think any of them would be fun to add to my collection. And for this, we have eight designs and one hidden edition. I definitely think out of all the Tiger series, though, this might be my least favorite for the theme. It's still really cute, and I really love the baby tiger aspect, but I don't think it's my favorite. And on the end here, we have Daily Life of the Tiger Cub, and these are a really big figure. If you're familiar with the AC Toy Cat series that they do, these are like the same shape and size of those ones, so they're really, really big. Out of all the tiger boxes that I've been unboxing lately, these have definitely been my favorite. And for this series, we have six options and one secret edition. So I'm really excited to open this one up and hopefully I get another one that I absolutely love. But I've been so happy with my tiger cub ones. They're so incredibly cute. So let's go ahead and open up our first one here for our Peng Hu Fat Tiger. And I'm really excited to see who I get for this one, especially because I don't have any more of them. And these ones look to be the same size as the other series, but I'm curious to see if it's textured at all. One, two, three. Oh, this one is so precious. Oh, I got a really good one. I really love this one. And I really like this one because it has a natural looking face. You'll notice on a lot of these figures, sometimes the expressions can be very exaggerated and cartoon-like. I much prefer the ones that look realistic to tigers, and this figure definitely looks realistic to a tiger. And you'll see on the bottom it has a mark for Butuma. BU, the number two, and then MA. And this is one of my favorites, so I'm so glad I got it in this video. But let's go ahead and have a look at the box. I believe we should have a card inside. Yes, my card is a bit bent, but here we go. 
and the name is really self-explanatory. It's just called Stretch. We're off to a great start. Let's go ahead and have a look at Tiger Can Be Anything. And this box feels pretty heavy. And as I mentioned, I've already gotten my two favorite ones. So I'll be happy as long as I don't get a duplicate. I think it won't matter who I get. But let's see who is inside of here. I really hope it's the llama. One, two, three. Oh, it is the llama. I love this one. It is so, so ridiculous. And I love how we have a texture for the llama body, but the tiger head itself is completely smooth. It basically just looks like we have a llama body with a tiger head stuck on. And it looks like you can rotate the tiger head so it can face any direction you want, which is pretty funny. Oh, I'm so happy I got one of the ones I really like. There definitely is some in this series that I think are more ugly than funny, but I guess it depends on who you are, what you think for each individual animal, or even this series at all. I'm sure there's some who aren't a big fan of this Tiger Can Be Anything series, and then others who would definitely prefer the more funny tigers over a realistic one. And here is the card for this one. I think the card is really cute. I'm definitely doing really good today in terms of the figures I'm getting. Let's see for series two if I can get one that I also really like. Oh, this one looks really small. Maybe there's an accessory in there because the box still feels pretty heavy. But let's go ahead and see who I got for this one. One, two, three. Oh no, I got the angler one. Oh, I think this was probably the one that I liked the least. Although I have to say the fish fins and tail look so cool with the tiger print. It is definitely super ridiculous looking. And the eyes on this one look really funny. Not my favorite, but definitely still really funny. And so much attention to detail. Let's go ahead and have a look at the box. We're going to have a stand in here as well as the card. Yeah, so we have a little stand here. And for this series, it looks like we have two cards. So this actually isn't a stand. I forgot, for a series two, if you happen to get a full case, you can basically assemble this really interesting dragon tiger sitting on top of an island with a baby cub. So it looks like for the angler fish, you get the base for this. So this is technically useless unless you get the full series. That is really funny though, and a really interesting concept to kind of incentivize people getting the full series. And the second card was just a QR code. So our anglerfish here has no stand, so it just kind of sits on his belly. And you can kind of wobble it around. <laughs> I think it looks really cute wobbling like that. Pretty funny for sure. And let's go ahead and look at our penghu and baby. These ones can sometimes have the tiger cub attached or it can come separate. So I think I would be really interested in getting one where the tiger is separate. But let's go ahead and open it up and see who I got. One, two, three. Oh, this wasn't one of the ones I was excited for, but we do have the little tiger cub separate. So let's go ahead and have a look inside of here and we should have our little tiger cub. Okay, this tiger cub is the cutest little thing. I love these mini tiger cubs. And I think he's just sleeping or playing on the ground. Just look at his sweet little face. I love the expression on the tiger cub. And if we have a look at the mom tiger, so our fat tiger, it has kind of a disapproving expression. And I think that's the only reason why I'm not a big fan of this series. I love the mini tiger cubs, but for our cute little fat tiger, most of the expressions have been kind of weird. I don't know. I like it when they look pretty realistic or they have a really cute expression. But I'm not a parent, so maybe I don't relate to the facial expressions the way other people would. And here's the card for Penghu and Baby, and I'll put the name up on the corner. And we have our last series left, and this one you'll notice is going to be quite different from the ones that we've already unboxed. But let's go ahead and have a look. 
and we will see the difference between them. I would be really excited if we got another super cute one for this one, just because I've been doing really well with the ones that I've gotten. Or maybe the secret edition, that would be really cool. All right, let's see who we got. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> this isn't one of the ones I wanted, but I still love it. Again, it reminds me of my cat, Butter. She can definitely get this disapproving face on her. I actually really like the disapproving face. It's really cute and I think pretty realistic if you have a cat. And you'll see the difference right away. For these ones, we do have some texture on it. Besides the llama one, everything else has been smooth. And normally for the other series, it is a smooth figure. But I think the texture looks really cool. And I really appreciate it for this series. I think the smooth texture looks great. And I really love the size. This one is actually quite scrunched up. So you can't see how big this series can go. Definitely when I put it down besides the other ones, you'll be able to see how big it is compared to them. Yeah, I just love this series. This is definitely, I think, my favorite series for the tiger one. I just find these really big ones really cute. And here's the card for Daily Life of the Tiger Cub. And this is all five boxes of tiger blind boxes from 52 Toys with the character Peng Hu and Tiger Cubs, as well as Tiger Can Be Anything. Let me know down below if you really like the idea of tiger blind boxes, if you think after the year the tiger is done, if we're probably going to get a lot less, or let me know what the favorite series is that I unboxed in today's video. Definitely my favorite is the Tiger Cub one. It is definitely my favorite series overall. And my favorite one that we unboxed today is our cute little stretching tiger here and then our llama tiger. But I do absolutely love all of these characters. And I do really love tigers. And they actually do a lot of merch and other things on the side. So if you really love tigers, they do lots of different pop-up shops all over Asia. And you can get pretty much anything with this tiger peng hu on it. But thanks so much for watching today's episode of Let's Discover. And I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into tiger blind boxes. And I will see you on the next video.